just step back and we'll invite um, Junior Farr to the front just to remind us to those of you in the room there will be a chance to ask any of our fighters and management a question uh, in just a few moments time. Uh, Junior just give us a sense of where you're at at this moment with your thought process you were training pretty hard you were looking forward to this so how are you coming to terms with this delay? Um, I'll be honest I was gutted when I was told that I wasn't going to fight um, although on the week beforehand I could feel the um, I could feel the drop off in my performance where, where in the part of the camp I should have been picking up, I was actually going down and for some reason I didn't know what the, um, what the cause of that was until we done our blood test and then um, just like Mark said, the, uh, the uh, blood results didn't come back right and then we got pulled from the fight. Um, but my thought pattern was a bit gutted. Um, I've had a week to basically get over that and just focus on a new possible date. Um, so, like you know, I'm just kind of looking forward to becoming 100% back uh, uh, back into full training, and then you know, the uh, sooner that can happen, then the sooner I can fight. And I'm just looking forward towards the fight once again. Thanks, Junior. Appreciate your time today. Again, there will be a chance to ask Junior some questions from the floor in a few moments. Meet up on stage. If there are any questions from the floor, we'd love you to ask them now. So I'll hand it over to our gathered press and guests and uh, let you go for it. Junior, can we start with you? Is that okay? Sure. It's easier to go one at a time, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, are you able to give us any more detail about what's wrong? Uh, not really, not too much more detail, just, uh, just basically, um, just basically going to say that I'm not feeling 100%, um, and that I'm feeling a lot more unfit than I should be, uh, but like, you know, things are, things are going towards the mend, and I'm going to be 100% once that fight does happen. Are you concerned at all that a kind of lack of training time and the surgery might lead to you being on the back foot come late February, March? Uh, no, I think so. Like you know, I don't think too much can be lost in the time that I'm going to be um, off training. But I'm always going to be doing, you know, something. You know, I'm not going to be doing too much while I recover. But like you know, there's always something I can do. And uh, like you know, I think I put in a lot of work to basically help me, help me to basically carry my fitness through the time that I'll be off. Um, but like you know, as we um, as this year's you know come, it's been quite hard. Thing. So, you know, I can't promise too much, but I'm going to be the best that I can be come fight night. How um, confident are your medical team about when it comes to predict, uh, predicting your recovery time frames and things like that? Uh, I, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I think, um, yeah, so obviously I spent all the meetings with Junior. Junior, um, are there any silver linings to the delay in the date? I guess one I'm thinking of is Carlos Berg. <coughs> Um, well, for that, I don't know because you know the thing with Carlos is that he might actually have a fight by the time that I'm fighting too. So, you know, so uh, that's not promised for me. But um, in terms of a silver lining, nah, I kind of no silver lining because I didn't want to get something in this year. I mean, it's been over a year since I fought now. Um, but like you know, I just gotta keep keep my focus strong and like you know, cement it on this fight, which I am, and then just basically look forward to the new day. What conversations have you had with yourself and Eugene about the, the balance of that um, with the city kickboxing group and the um, the different fights that you're all sort of managing to get at? So I think you know you're hoping for Israel in your corner as well for the fight. Does that change? And what are the conversations you've had? I think we just take it as it comes, really. Um. Well, Junior, sorry, if you could come up again. Yeah, I mean, sure. a lot of talking here, you're the one who's actually getting in the ring. Do you feel like you've been disrespected prior to this by the Parker kid? No. No. Uh, it is what it is. This is, you know, this is just verbal. Uh, like, like, yeah, like, you know, this is just verbal battle, verbal war. But at the end of the day, this is just going to be fight. And that's what I'm prepared for. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not quite uh, fast with my words, so you're not going to get much from me. <laughs>